Welcome back to another video. So today <clears throat> we are going to be, which I talked about in another video, is we're going to be working on these tires. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use a manual tire changer and get these tires off these wheels. Even though they look good, have a lot of tread on them, they're all going to go in the trash. So let's go ahead and roll this around back and I'll show you how to get these off with a manual tire changer. manual tire changer so pop center cap out valve stem tool take all that out it gets faster Now you gotta break the bead just like you do with the regular tire changer. So lay it down, put this right against the edge of the rim and where the tire meet. Usually takes a little bit, a couple times, working your way around to get the tire to unseat, especially when the tire's been on there for a while. One more time should do it. Alright. So there's the back. The back is free. Now flip it over. Same thing. Do the front. Almost. There we go. And then this stuff goes in, locks the tire down. And it is another hot day. Then you tighten it down. So, it doesn't spin. There. Now again, everything's free. I always like to spray it down. Same as putting the tire on. A little bit of lube. This helps it slide off better. You got this right here. You hook it underneath the bead of the tire. Just like that. Got it underneath the bead right there. So it's pulled up. <clears throat> now, sides off. Alright, now slide this in. Sometimes the bead will want to just not come off easy, so on the inside. So I'll put another bar in just to keep that in. 
in as I spin this around. And let's see here. How was my time? Eh, so we'll say five minutes. I think my timer is on five minutes and 30 seconds right now. So we'll say five minutes to take a tire off. I'm not complaining. Well, there it is. Now I just put my center cap back on. Put my valve stem back in because these valve stems are fresh. They've only been in a few hundred, a few hundred miles. All right, let me go ahead get the rest of them off, and we'll pick it up when I get those off. So, give me five, ten, fifteen minutes. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> all right well knocked them all out slide in between and here we go all four hold on a second Whew. it's hot Like I say, besides it just being hot as on the wood outside, didn't take me long. So I got all four right there. You can't beat that. I mean, literally, we'll just say, we'll just round it up and just say five minutes is higher. I mean, I did with the first one when you saw me do it. I was talking a little bit. I wasn't going as fast as I could because I was doing it on camera. So we'll just say five minutes. So that's 20 minutes right there just to take these off. I don't think that is very hard at all. Some people knock the manual tire changer because they're like, oh, it's too long. It's too slow. This and that. <sighs> well, so I had bought a bag of valve stems right there which was 100 valve stems i have three left yeah that's 97. i didn't take that long math to do math i was just thinking why is there only three that'd be an odd number should it be four or two whatever but we'll just say We'll round it down. We'll take off the extra. So we'll just say 96. I've done 96 tires on that thing. That machine costs $100. You can buy it now. It's cheaper. It's like between $50 and $75 at Harbor Freight. I paid $100 for it. And I've done well over 90 some tires because I actually did a set of tires once that I had to order a special set of valve stems because these ones are the normal traditional size. It needed the bigger ones because they were a heavy duty tire. So it needed a different size um, boss at the end right here. So it was actually two of those that I did. Now, they were for a Suburban. So I've done a lot of tires. That thing is paid for now. We'll do this in another video is we're going to take these out. We're going to clean them, get them all nice and cleaned up because they are dirty. They do have 
a lot of grime on them, all that kind of stuff. So, in another video down the line, we're gonna clean these, get them all nice, polished up, and all that. Then, when I get my new car, these are gonna be the track wheels for the Honda. Man, I am sweating like a freaking pig. So later on, there will be um, RT660s on these, so Falcon. So Falcon RT660s on there, which are 200 tread wear tires for track. Cause like I say, once I get my new vehicle, the Honda is going to be a track car. These are gonna be the track wheels. So if I mess them up, whatever, I mean, plus a lot of this right here, there's this oxidation on there. A lot of that's not going to come off. I've done clean these before and a lot of it's not going to come off. So we're just going to do our best. And then get new tires for these. But for now, we're in this video. Just wanted to show you really how easy it is to use a manual tire changer. Don't let people lie to you. They're not that difficult. Be a lot easier if it wasn't so hot out. But hey, got to get something done. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this, showing you how to use a manual tire changer. Pick yourself up one, they're well worth it. Especially if, you know, you do a lot of tires, like I do. All right, <clears throat> All right. catch you in the next video.